She said slash e cop. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome, 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 guys. So we've had a few press conferences over the last few days. And I want everybody to know I appreciate you all um, being here. So Easter Sunday, we had a, a bit of a situation that took place. Um, it did involve a couple of our officers. And um, there were people shot. There were words exchanged. Um, overall, it was it was an ugly scene for everyone involved. Um, my department has uh, taken it very serious and has looked into the entire scenario. Uh, we've spent countless hours reviewing body cameras to try and get to the bottom of what took place Sunday night. That was, e that was Easter Sunday. Um, so what I wanted to do is I want to go ahead and uh, kind of close out and tell everybody what the uh, end result is. So there were two officers involved. Major Mitchell of the State Police Department. He is the head of that department, as well as a new officer, Javion. We won't disclose a whole lot of detail other than what we can disclose is that those two officers were responding to some concerns um, of a situation. And, um, you know, let me back up on that and say prior to a certain scene, um, our officers engaged in a situation at Fleeka Bank. Throughout our investigation, we have determined a couple uh, violations in our policies by our uh, officer involved. Our department will Why be handling there? our department will be handling disciplinary action um, within the department, but there will be disciplinary action over the incident that took place. We got a guy in the back there that wants in. Two buck. Be handling. Excuse me. So, throughout the investigation, we determined that there were a couple situations that could have been avoided, and um, we definitely are taking it very serious. I have already had the discussions with Major Mitchell, and with my high command. We have completed our investigation. So with that being said, we plan on talking with the parties involved to ensure that they understand that there was a very, very scuffed scenario during this incident. So I want to be clear that um, Major Mitchell going forward understands kind of what the expectations are. And him and I have had a great discussion about it, along with Chief Cowboy. All right. And we are confident that going forward, we will not have an incident like this again. The other officer involved was Javion. He was fairly new in the um, department and should have never been put in the position that he was in. And that is being addressed and we are handling that on our end. So, I want to, there's a couple things I'm gonna cover, but I wanna open it up for any possible questions regarding the incident that took place. What I can confirm is that there were two separate incidents that took place and the end of the day, there was a lot of confusion between body cameras. Um, and we have thoroughly completed it. So before I switch topics, I want to know, does anybody have any questions regarding the officer involved shooting that happened Sunday night? 
be savage. I will say at the bank, he saved my life. Who's speaking? Life that day. That's Mob G. Mitchell did save my life. He saved your life? Life that day. He saved my I appreciate hearing that, man. And I my know life. he does too. Mitchell is sitting right down here in the front row along with his lawyer, his attorney. I'll give them a chance to come up here and uh, speak real quick and um, kind of speak on his own behalf to all of Los Santos County. Mitchell and uh, what's your attorney's name? I can't remember. Mr. Xander. Williams. All right, Xander. Come on up. Guys. Thanks for your time, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to uh, thank the Los Angeles Police Department for thoroughly completing this investigation, looking at all the body cam footage and and really taking everything into account. Uh, it's really important uh, to understand that, you know, in the heat of moment, things happen, mistakes happen. But at the end of the day, uh, my client, Mitch Royal, was doing everything in his power to protect the good people of Los Santos. Uh, that being said, you know, we're happy with the uh, results. We're excited for Mitchell to be back on the force here sooner than later. Uh, and other than that, uh, I'd like to kick it over to Mr. Royal himself. Afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know, after the case, um, I feel, you know, very, um, very humble about it. Um, I'm sure there's uh, two other scenes and, uh, and it was a scuff situation. I do want to say I was there for uh, the better good and um, was trying to help um, civilians involved in the situation to make sure they uh, get into safety. And um, from here, I uh, want to continue my career here at the San Andreas State and uh, we'll continue that. Anybody have any questions for me? All right. Thank you, sir. All right. All right, so the other thing I want to talk about is I want to go ahead and take advantage of him. First of all, thank you so much, Major Mitchell, for your service and continuing to uh, provide, um, you know, a service to our community and the citizens out there. Um, you know, him and I have had private discussions, and we will definitely make some progress in the right direction regarding his actions. Um, and the opportunities that presented themselves during that situation. Um, I want to go ahead and talk about a situation that's coming up um, within our city that we're looking to start to crack down on. Um, so I want to let you guys know that we are uh, beginning to roll out possible weed uh, cards for people giving you an allowed amount of uh, cannabis on you. Um, so we have the weed store that tries very hard to continue to feed their families and provide a business and a service to the citizens of Los Santos County. Um, we're, we're doing everything we can to keep the city safe and restrict the amount of cannabis that is on a person and in their homes. So I will be clear that uh, very soon we'll be rolling out some new policies within the city to encourage not carrying uh, an allowed amount on your person. The cannabis card will show the specific details of what you are allowed to have on your person. Um, any questions on the weed <clears throat> or any drugs for that matter? Question here, question here. Yes, sir. This is uh, Brian Jones from uh, Los Santos Underground. Uh, about the weed or the drug situation, uh, I noticed there's a lot of increase in uh, crime in the city regarding drugs. How would you guys handle that? Well, we're going to continue to investigate, um, and uh, we are looking into a possible hotline to be able to receive tips to allow us a chance to... Uh, dig into some potential drug rings and drug lords and uh, bring them to justice. 
Great question. Five. Question. Yes, sir. How much weed are you going to determine a person can have on them? Um, and how are you going to determine that? Rough estimates right now, as we discuss it with the government, um, rough estimates are about 10, um, about 10 uh, joints will be allowed with the card. Um, I, th I think it's, you know, I'll have to, I'm one during my press conferences, I don't give you not direct answers, so I cannot answer it exactly, but I can tell you, you will not be able to have a whole lot on you. Um, there will be definitely a limit of 10 bags. You cannot have 10 bags of weed. After, once you hit 10, it's illegal. It is uh, distribution. So if you have less than 10 bags of uh, marijuana on you, that will be, be legal with your cart, only if you have the cart. Same with joints and same with seeds. Seeds are going to be a smaller number. And joints, I think, are about five or ten. Second no question. Food. How would you? How would we access this card, or how would we get be able to purchase this card in the city? This will be a government-issued card by anyone who has special access to assist you. Question. Yes, sir. What would you say to the taxpayers who think that it's a waste of taxpayer resources to use police? efforts towards something that grows in the ground well unfortunately we have um a lot of businesses in here that are trying to make a living and um in order to keep our taxpayers out there paying we got to actually encourage sales to our business and if we have people running rogue in our city having plants in their homes and weed all over them and selling it on the streets it's going to impact our businesses who are out there trying to feed their families. Great question. I have a question. Yes, sir. Um, now... Can somebody from the government make sure Flip doesn't restart? Now, uh, what's the what's going to be the fine or punishment um, if you're caught with more than 10 joints or Get it. the allotted amount? Um, I believe that'll be inside of what's called our MDT system, which is our mobile data terminal. Um, if you have more than the legal amount, you will have a fine in there. Um, I could have one of my officers pull up that dollar amount right now, so, and I could tell you. This is major, but Mitchell it will be here. considered distribution. I can look that up. Okay. Great question. Guy in the hoodie, what's up? So. I work at Best Buds, and I gotta carry I, I gotta carry joints on me at the same time, so I can sell them and stuff like that. So can I get fined for it if I have like a hundred on me just to be like passing them out to people because I'm there? So that's intense. When we sound. work at a You're company, when we work at a company, so for example, if I work at a grocery store, I don't get to carry Cheerios in my pocket to sell on the streets, <laughs> right? So no, you don't get to. <laughs> no, you question. have to. Have, you, you're question. running a question. business, sir. Can question. we set up? So can we set up a weed vendor like the hot dog vendor, so we can run around, uh, or so Best Buds employees can run around the city and and market their product that way? Very good. Yeah, because a lot of people don't even go to Best Buds anymore. Honestly, they just go and make their own at this point because we don't have locks on our doors, so people just abuse it. Oh. Okay. So that's something we'll have to work with the government on. What do you mean locks on the doors? What do they abuse? All of the doors that Best Buds are unlocked, and we can't lock them anymore. So they just walk right well, into the back room. Oh. But what can they do in the back room? If they find out where you get the bushweed, they can turn it into joints and seeds, and we can't stop so, that. So they can actually gain access to it and do it themselves? Yep, they can just walk right in. And that's been like that for two to three days now. Okay. Well, the narcotics to... team will definitely be watching that from now on. Yep. So go ahead and um, you'll need to send an email, uh, get with your Gotta go. owner well, I think, of the I think, company. Um, yeah, I think T already told uh, Flip about it. Okay. So we'll work on oh, trying to lock that down. Okay. Yeah, because it's, it's one of the doors locked. locks, but it always unlocks every single time. Like if you walk a farther, like, far enough distance away, it just unlocks itself. Yeah. Is that my Copy. wife? So essentially the traffic at Best Buds has fallen off.
Yeah, because everybody just makes their own at this point. Okay. Stop quiet well, about. And <laughs> that's exactly why we're we're striking down on the amount that people are carrying. So. Um, like right now, might... I got like I got like 80 joints on me. Am I am I technically like about to get like arrested? Mm -hmm. No, but it's still it's still not uh, implemented. You know, like click it or ticket campaign. Oh. Our our campaign is going to be for the distribution of uh, weed. Yeah. So as soon as we roll out the specifics, we will uh, get with you. For me, so, I got my car. so I have okay. another question. Yes, sir. Um, now, following uh, marijuana legalization and such, do you in the city have any more like possible like intentions on legalizing other drugs, or is it just going to be marijuana? The legal crack um, is hot in some states. By saying legalizing, we aren't legalizing anything. <laughs> if you're, you're asking me to legalize, and I don't know that the state is going to get get behind a, uh, a legalization policy. We could look at you know decriminalizing so, right at the end of the day. I think what you're saying, I think I know what you're saying, is you're asking if is it possible that we're going to see different things in the city rather than legal word, right? R well, yeah, and like once those things are introduced into the city, can they be considered medical? No. Okay. The only thing that would even have a chance to be considered medical is a medical marijuana card, which is what we will be giving out. That okay. is the only thing. Any other drug will be classified as a illegal item and will be confiscated and you will be arrested and charged. Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. So, um, in conclusion... Um, I think we need to hurry because it seems like the weather out there is getting a little rough and we might see a tsunami coming. But um, thank you guys for everything you do yep. in the county. Um, I hope you guys understand that this department will continue to do everything we can to serve you. Okay. Thank you. I, I, got, more, I got one more Time question. Go board up the like, resort. Just, just... Hold on a second. We appreciate it. Hey! 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 Come on, bro. You gotta do better. Sucks, man. <laughs> <Is everybody leaving? laughs> Sorry, boys. We just got done, man. You're all late. Let's start. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't. We, we, guys, we, we, guys, 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 we, uh, plus the tsunami's about to hit us like a boss, and I don't want us yeah. all in here. Facts, the facts. weather's getting gnarly out there, boys. The door, so. Wait, and right. girls. I gotta get home ASAP. I gotta take his kids as good. Yes. Get Beautiful get fight. out. It's gonna Beautiful hit tsunami time. I love seeing this. Oh shit, it's starting to rain. Sorry guys. I didn't know you guys were in route or else I'd have delayed more. It is starting to rain. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Stupid. Yo, Chrome Dead, can Start I talk to you after a little? Hey guys, get out of here. Yeah. I, may, I may have done uh, a rain dance. I may nice. have done a rain That's dance. That's hilarious. Nice. Yeah. Hey, oh, wait, what's that, guys? Dad. Hold on. Hey, Dorian, we <laughs> got a guy that needs rain. revive. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's beautiful. I, I love it. Oh yeah. Um, Just oh, love it. The whole vibes are there.